if I'm anything, I'm a counterterrorism guy. I was a terrorism prosecutor, did a lot of intel terrorism work, and then my first tour in the, in the, as a civilian in the military was targeting terrorists with our special forces guys. Um, so unfortunately, you know, you have a juxtaposition of two policies involving the Middle East. President Trump obtains the impossible with multiple peace deals with Israel and Middle Eastern countries and African countries. And then fast forward in 120 some plus days in the Biden administration, they're making fun of the peace deals that President Trump achieved. And now Israel and Hamas are basically at a war. And I think that basically shows the difference in leadership, the priorities that President Trump placed on our relationship with Israel and going after terrorist organizations. So make no mistake about it, Hamas is a foreign terrorist organization. That FTO designation, it means something in the US law. It means they are terrorists by law under the United States. And we cripple them with sanctions. We limit their ability to move. Why do we do that? Because they've conducted terrorist activities around the world, killing Americans and American allies. And so it's a very high bar to meet. And for people to go around and say, oh, Hamas isn't a terrorist organization anymore, is just careless and reckless with how that organization has carried itself out.